Welcome back to Kingdom Business with the Messiah, back with another video. So in this video, I'll be talking about uh, your kingdom spouse. Yay, I know that's what you all been waiting on. Uh, so and the only reason why I'm not just uh, giving out uh, messages every day on it because God haven't released me to give messages out on it every day. So you have to be patient and wait on God's timing. Okay, because... Um, God said he, reveal, he, he he reveals nothing until he re reveals to his servants, the prophets. That's Amos 3 and 7. God does nothing until he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. I'm his prophet, so he's not going to reveal anything to you until he first reveal it to me, uh, his prophet. And that's Amos 3 and 7. King James Version, whatever book you want to use. So anyway, moving along, whichever uh, version of the Bible you want to look it up. So let me just say this. So I had a dream and in the dream, I seen the guy, uh, the singer, Jeffrey Osborne. And um, then um, I also seen my kingdom spouse. My kingdom spouse was uh, sitting on the couch, Jeffrey Osborne standing up. I introduced Jeffrey Osborne to my kingdom spouse. Uh, because in the dream, it's like me and Jeffrey Osborne were dating, or he's supposed to be, you know, my boyfriend or something, is what it felt like in the dream. Okay, so then, um, then I end up going, like, upstairs or something like that in the dream. We we all went upstairs. Um, it was like a couple of bedrooms up there. And then I seen um, Jeffrey Osborne getting that attitude because in the dream I had a twin and he was getting an attitude with my twin. So then, um, you know, I was trying to figure out why he was getting mad at it. He acted like it wasn't no big deal. Like he, you know, I don't know. So anyway, I, I believe the dream was just showing me that. Okay. That's the counterfeit, right? The counterfeit um, is not the one who got sent. So of course, you know, they're going to, um, act all good in front of you, but behind your back, <laughs> it's a totally different story. So, so my twin, I believe in the dream represented what he it is like, it represented me, like what he would do behind my back. Like, you know, he would try to hurt me behind my back is what the dream was showing me. The fact that he had attitude or, you know, upset in my twin. So, um, so that's what the Lord was showing me that, um, your kingdom spouse is, um, the counterfeit going to try to come back before, well, around the same time, you're going to have two choices, put it that way. You're going to have two choices and you have to pick the person you with now, or you have to choose your you gonna have to choose the counterfeit, or you gonna have to choose you gonna have to choose the karmic, or choose your or the counterfeit, or whatever you want to call them, or choose your kingdom spouse. Which one are you gonna choose? The karmic slash kingdom spouse. I mean the karm. No, they're not your kingdom spouse. Are you gonna choose the karmic slash um, counterfeit kar karmic slash counterfeit? That's the same person. Or are you gonna choose your kingdom spouse? You know, the choice is yours. Are you going to choose your prodigal? The choice is yours. Are you going to are you going to stay with the person that, you know, the new person that you, you know, been dealing with? Or are you the newer person or the person you've been dealing with for a little while since your kingdom spouse been gone? Or are you going to um, deal with, um, your, your you know, your kingdom spouse? Do you want your kingdom spouse or do you want the, the counterfeit? Which one do you want? Because that's the choice you got to make. This is what's getting ready to happen. You want to have to make a choice, you know, uh, because in the dream, it was just showing me that, um, oh, and then I, I looked up the lyrics to a song because the song, because I was trying to figure out his name, the person who I dreamed about, because I remember the face, but couldn't remember the name. So, um, so I looked up the song, the song came to me, the song, uh, I'm only human came to me. God gave me that download of I'm only human. Don't ask me for too much, too fast. I'm only human, yeah. Okay, don't ask me for too much, too fast. I'm only human, 
Yeah. Okay, here we go. So it says Jeff. Okay, so it says okay. It's by Jeffrey Osborne. It's called Only Human. And this is how some of the lyrics go. I'm only human. Don't ask me for too much, too fast. And then it says, um, I'll be so careful not to hurt you. I forget how the, the music goes, but just he said, I'll be so careful not to hurt you. I love you, yes I do. Uh, I'll do my best not to hurt you because I'm on. In so many words, he's gonna do his best not to hurt you, but he's only human too. Is what he's saying. And then it says, "So, so, darling, be patient. If we believe we can make changes as we go, so if we believe we can make changes as we go. So he said, if you believe, your counterfeit is telling you this." If you, he said, I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> the, the, look, the counterfeit telling you, look, I ain't, I ain't going to hurt you. I ain't trying to hurt you. But if you believe, if we believe we can make changes as we go, he said, we can make changes as we go. Okay. He said, I'll be so careful not to hurt, to hurt you. If you got to be so careful not to hurt me, then you going to hurt me. Cause I don't trust nobody. They got to be so careful not to hurt me. It should come naturally. For you not to want to hurt me. You should not want to do that. No way. So why you got to be so careful? Because you're so tempted. Is that why you got to be so careful? Because you're so tempted. Oh, okay. You're so tempted is why you got to be so careful. Okay. So, um. So he said, I'll be so careful. I'll be so careful not to, not to hurt you. I'll be so careful not to hurt you. I love you. Yes, I do. But. See, anytime it's a but, then he don't love you like that. <laughs> anytime there's a but, he don't love you like that, baby. The counterfeit don't love you like that. Okay, not like your kingdom spouse do. He said, he said, I love you. Yes, I do. But I'll do my best not to hurt you. He said, I'll do my best not to hurt you. Why you got to do his best not to hurt you? Because obviously he know he going to hurt you. <laughs> If he got to do his best not to hurt you, he know he going to hurt you, right? Obviously. Come on, y'all. That's the counterfeit talking, right? That's the karmic talking, right? Yep. So, hmm. talking about he'll do his best not to hurt you. <laughs> do his best not to hurt you. Okay, so, he said, because I'm only human in so many words. That's why he said he do his best not to hurt you. He said, I'm only human. Sure, I get, basically, this is what he's saying secretly. I get tempted to. If I see something fine, I like variety. Ooh, when I see something thick, something voluptuous and something beautiful or something slim and trim, you know, whatever. He going after whatever he like. So he just don't want you to catch him. See what I'm saying? He don't want you to catch him. That's why in my dream, he was doing all this stuff to hurt me. I thought it was my twin when really it was me he was hurting. Okay, because I don't have a twin in real life. So he was hurting me. By hurting my doppelganger or whatever you want to call it, you know, like he hurting my twin, so he hurt. So basically, the, the twin represented me. He was hurting me in the dream behind my back, cause I'm like, well, why is you doing all this? You know, he tried to he tried to act like he wasn't doing nothing hurting nobody. He like he wasn't trying to hurt nobody when I confronted him about it. So they'll act good in front of your face, act like, oh, everything's fine, Dan. They treat you with respect, treat you like a queen in front of your face. But behind your back, baby, you best to believe they're getting it in with somebody else. You best to believe that they ain't being faithful to you. You best to believe they entertaining all their options and then some, okay? You better believe they're willing to be promiscuous behind your back, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, um, so he's talking about so be patient. If if we believe, if we believe, we'll make changes as we go. So why do we got to make changes as we go? We shouldn't have to be making no changes as we go. As we go, we should be getting stronger and stronger in our love. Why would we have to make some changes? See what I'm talking about? They ain't nothing but somebody that's tempted by temptation, and they know they're gonna have to make some changes because they know they're gonna be out cheating and doing all type of stuff. And that, and that guy gave me this this song because I didn't even know who the, what, what the man's name was. I knew it had an O in it. His uh, last name, I knew it had an O in it. Uh, first, I, I couldn't remember what his last name had in it. I thought it was uh, Armstrong. But then I knew it was something with a strong name, but it was um, Jeffrey Osborne. So, yeah. 
But then it came to me, oh, it must be an O. His name got an O in it, you know. And then, sure enough, I looked it up and it had an O in it. So, yeah, uh, his last name had an O in it, not a not an A. So, um, yeah, 10, 10, I was just saying. So, I'm just letting y'all know that that's what's going on, you know. You have to choose between the counterfeit and the um, kingdom spouse. The choice is yours. Yeah, the choice is yours, so get ready. Um, I say dump that counterfeit. When your kingdom spouse come, you dump that counterfeit. Because that's what I did in the dream. Like, I still let my kingdom spouse come around even though my counterfeit was there. I just introduced my counterfeit to my kingdom spouse. I almost was like, oh, I don't know if I should introduce it. I was feeling... Um, reluctant to you know introduce him but i went on and introduced him and uh it was peace it was no arguing or fighting going on <laughs> so yeah get ready so i'm ending here thank you all for tuning in to kingdom business with the prophets so yeah your kingdom spouse is getting ready to come home and so y'all gonna have to get rid of that counterfeit your kingdom spouse is coming home your prodigal is coming home your prodigal is coming home your kingdom spouse is coming home your prodigal coming home so get that uh, counterfeit out of your life because all they're going to do is cheat on you, use you, abuse you, and act all like they're treating you good in front of your face. But behind it, behind your back, they doing dirt. They doing dirt and they treating you bad behind your back like what he was doing in my dream. So God is showing me they're going to do this to you. So do not accept no counterfeit in your life. Get rid of the counterfeit and wait on your kingdom spouse, okay? God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in to Kingdom Business with the Messiah. Until next time, thank you all for joining me. Please do like, share, subscribe to this channel so that it can get out to the algorithm so that uh, others can see this video. Hit the uh, notification bell so you can be notified so, so that you can be notified next time I upload a video. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned to the next video because we don't know you don't know what the next one will be about it's getting good and juicier every time so get ready so be on the lookout god bless you all thanks again to uh to all you viewers out there and to all my subscribers i appreciate you all thank you love you peace love happiness shalom take care bye